Hello, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft series. In this episode, we're over here by our barn, our giant wheat field, and we have an overabundance of seeds. So I'm going to build a auto composter here. Now this is the stuff that we need and somewhat the layout. So this will be a double chest and that will also be a double chest. But we use the two extra here. So we're going to go collect this stuff and I'll show you how the composter is constructed. So this is where we're going to be building it and we're going to start by throwing down our double chest with a hopper into the back of that. I'm going to put the composter on that with another double chest here. Now this double chest is actually going to collect seeds, where this one is going to compost the seeds. And we need our last chest here. And it's going to go beside that one. So the way that this system works is you throw your seeds in here and half of them are going to come down through this system, the other half through this system. Now this doesn't need to be a double chest, depends how many seeds you want just stored up, but you can hear the composter doing its thing. So we've got a bit of bone meal now and then this one, this one should have a stack of seeds. Yeah, so you can just keep repeating that cycle if you want. And this will just store seeds that you can use to replant your field. So you just always have a collection of seeds. And then this will give you bone meal over time. When you have all the seeds you want, you can remove this hopper. But we're going to leave that there for now. We have a little plan for a compost bay. It's nothing really spectacular, but it's a nice little build to go around this. And we're just going to put some walls up here. But not emotional walls, just these stone bricks. And then on top of that we're going to do some alternating and detailing with just some of these things. So we'll get two at the front and one at the back just like that and to hide the chest we're going to use stairs on these three like that and then slabs. These three are going to have trapdoors just to finish covering up the chest. So we grabbed some muddy mangrove we're going to throw down here. Just like that. We'll replace this bit. We'll go with rooted dirt. Can be a coarse dirt. And then the last few things we'll throw that there just to light the area up. And then a couple of wheelbarrows. So to make the wheelbarrow, we're going to throw down a composter with. A grindstone facing into it and on the back an open gate. Then our 
other one is going to just be here. Like that. Which I forgot the walls do this now. It'll be sticking out a tiny bit then. So we'll put it there. And then you can take some seeds and fill these up a tiny bit. So I'm not really sure when this happened, but you can't have a slab on top of a chest anymore because it won't open. So that's a little odd, but we're going to go ahead and dump a ton of seeds in here and see how much we can get. And then we'll harvest this field, see how long it takes us, and see how many seeds and everything we get from that. I want to get this double chest full as well over time, just because it'll uh, it'll give me access to seeds for a few wheat-related builds in the future. Took about eight minutes to fully harvest the field, which isn't too bad, and we got almost 18 stacks of wheat from that, and quite a few stacks of seeds and see how much bone meal we can get from 26 and we'll also plant the field quick after a nap and see how long this takes us it takes about 15 minutes to harvest and then replant the entire field. Get a few seeds left. And yeah, almost got a stack of bone meal out of it. Not a bad field. Alright, so that is our composter build. Hope you like it and this thing does prove useful, especially when you extend it to a bigger scale, attach it to a moss farm. Uh, things will do down the road in the series, but for now, this is what we've got going on. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I've got another small build that we'll be doing over here, a decorative piece, in the next episode, before we start to move on to bigger and better things over there. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.